my carbon monoxide detector went off last night, or this morning rather. Something that I thought would never happen. And I'm only like three days into this trip and it already went off. It went off because I had the buddy heater on and I did not crack a window. I didn't think it was gonna matter because I uh, was only gonna leave it on for like an hour or two, but apparently it did matter. So crack a window, guys. We are finally in Ontario. five or six hours outside of Thunder Bay. We've been on the road for about three days now and finally got to Ontario today. Yeah, I've been driving for about three days and I've been in Quebec the whole time, but I, I haven't been driving all day long because while I'm on the highway, the cats need to be in the crates and they hate it. So I've been taking them out and, and meaning I haven't been driving for that long all day. The problem with that is that it's starting to get cold and by the time I get to the prairies I'm a, I'm really worried because I think Saskatchewan the night I'm supposed to get there it's going to be like negative 10 and I'm really not excited to experience that. Last night was negative 1. We did good. Um, I didn't even turn the heat on till the morning to see how it would be to see the, how the cats would be. So I didn't sleep that much last night. I slept, I napped in the day the day before instead so that I could keep checking on the cats all night and everything was fine. So what I wanna do now, today we just drove as much as possible. Uh, I didn't even eat lunch. We just pulled over. Now I'm gonna have dinner and the cats get to be outside of the crates for at least an hour or two. I think we might just sleep here. I'm not totally sure, not totally decided whether or not we're going to sleep here or just drive overnight. I really don't want to drive overnight. I'm not comfortable driving overnight, especially with like the possibility of a, a random moose running into the car or like driving out, running into the road and then driving into it. So I'll probably, we'll probably stay here for the night. It is going to be pretty warm like plus five or something tonight is going to be the lowest so that's great and uh then tomorrow i'm going to try to get in as many hours as possible probably not going to get too much further than thunder bay tomorrow and then worry about the prairies afterwards i'm really not excited about getting to the prairies and dealing with like negative 10. the van had a little bit of trouble starting this morning at negative one so I'm really concerned about getting stuck in the prairies. So there's that. I'm not sure what this is, but let's find out. Public washrooms? That is what I'm excited about. Let's see if this is a real thing. What? No, oh, it's locked. It's locked. There's a dog. I hope he's friendly. I'm pretty sure that thing that looks like a fence is not a fence. And if he was a mean doggy, he'd be killing me right now. <laughs> I've been looking. 
looking at the weather to you know try to avoid sleeping in extremely cold temperatures so it looks like we need to get to Vancouver as soon as possible because there's basically no way to escape it now we are at like the border of winter everything like towns that were in the pluses today are no longer going to be in the pluses from this day forward it's all cold from here so even the next town over that i was hoping to sleep in tonight um because i thought it was going to be like plus five it was plus five last night it is not going to be that tonight it is really below zero from this point on until I get to Vancouver, or until I get to BC anyways, the Vancouver area. We still have 31 hours of driving left. Yesterday we pulled off about six. The biggest problem that's slowing me down is just that I can't keep the cats in the crate all day because they need to do stuff. They need to poop, they need to eat, they need to do whatever they need to do. So we're gonna try to do our best. I'm gonna try to do a good six, seven hours, maybe even eight hours today. And uh, I'm gonna try just driving straight, but like taking breaks to let them out and like do stuff and see how that goes. I don't know what to do. It's just really, just gotta get there as soon as possible. And all my worries, I prepare for something new. I'm finally in Thunder Bay. It took forever to get here. We stopped and had a little break, let the cats out a little bit. And now we're going back on the road and we're getting out of here. The plan is basically just to drive as much as possible over the next couple of days because, uh, yeah, I don't want to sleep in a town where the uh, the temperature is dropping too low but below zero because I am concerned for some concern for the cats I'm also concerned that the van won't start the next day so I'm gonna try to go by taking naps or not leaving the car off for too long that means not a whole night I might leave it off for a couple hours get up turn it back on we'll see how it goes we have a problem um, so I'm trying to leave Thunder Bay, but since I got here, I've noticed that there is some kind of weird issue with my brakes, I think. Um, it feels like there's something in there. It's a problem that I had before I left, and I went to the garage to get it checked, and he said it was nothing, or that he couldn't find it. And as soon as I got to Thunder Bay, it became a little bit of a bigger problem. I started driving around the back streets to see how bad it was. And it kind of feels like it'll be okay. I think the brakes will be okay. Because the only time it really does that thing is when I push fully down on it, but I can come to a complete stop without having that issue. But the other issue is that as I'm driving now, I hear this squeaking, swinging sound like something's loose and I can't figure out what it is. And for all I know, my muffler is going to fall off as I'm driving. But again, it's Saturday. The garage isn't open anywhere until Monday. So what do I do all Sunday? Just chill and hope it doesn't snow? My, my real fear is the weather. It's just, just getting colder by the day. And I really want to get to BC. I want to get to Abbotsford 
as soon as possible. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I kind of feel like I'm gonna keep driving tonight and hope it doesn't fall off and then Monday bring it to a garage. Maybe I'll be gentle on the road. I have to make a choice as to whether or not I'm going to stay here and try to get it fixed or if I'm going to just keep driving and hope it's nothing and then possibly die because it's something.